Okay, internet. Jaw 5 here. And today I'm going to review NECA's Batman Arkham Origins Grapnel Launcher Replica. Uh, I'm going to start off the box. This is probably my favorite part. Got nice box art. It's clean. Gives off a good view of what you're going to get. Now, we're going to go to the gun itself. <clears throat> this is a big gun. It's nice. It looks great. The colors are good. It's really well detailed. If you read the box, it says the dart shoots several feet. That's not several feet. It also says on the box, it can retract. It doesn't really retract. Now, this doesn't really bother me as that's not a main selling point for me. Neither was the claw, which if you can see, is just foam. Uh, foamies, craft foam, whatever you want to call it. This is stuff that's about 50 cents a sheet at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. Uh, it's attached to a really, really cheap string. And there's nothing really that, stand out, that stands out about that. But as you can see, the grapple gun's big. It's a honking kit. Like it, <clears throat> you're not going to find any replica gadgets made by any garage kit makers uh, for $34.99 plus shipping. I paid the $10 and got this shipped to me in a day. But I want to compare it against my own version of the Arkham Asylum and City Grapnel Launcher. Mine was 3D printed from game data and was professionally painted. Uh, you may or may not like the color scheme. You know, I'm not that wild about it myself, but it's a great looking prop. Now let's compare it up against <clears throat> this year's Arkham Origins Grapple. Both have a very Michael Keaton 1989 spear gun inspired look. Uh, as indicated pretty much through here where the line would attract on both gadgets. Uh, that's pretty much the trademark of the Keaton gun. Uh, both of these guns are similar in size with the NECA being a bit beefier. This gun's really lightweight. A uh, few ounces. This gun weighs about two pounds. This is a heavy kit. And that's the difference between a solid resin replica and a toy gun. You know, if you're gonna go uh, to cons, wherever, <clears throat> this may be the launcher for you. For me, it's a piece of shit. I don't like it. Uh, I love the look of it. It will display with all my other stuff and in my display case and it'll look fantastic but it's really not worth any more than $34.99 and if I could go back I would pick the $350 shipping and not the $10 shipping because the line retracting option it it broke after one use and it didn't even actually work so you know buyer beware buy at your own risk if you want something that looks cool on the shelf Great. I personally find this to be about the quality in terms of build as something that you would get uh, at a Halloween store for 10 to $15. It's not as nice as the solid resin replica. It's not going to be, it's not going to feel the same way. It'll look great on a shelf. It just depends on the type of collector you are. Uh, like, dislike, check out my Facebook doc, my Facebook page, Jawa5. I uh, would love to hear your comments. And, you know, if you get it, you'll enjoy it. I'm going to. It's just not as cool to me as my original. So, have a good night. I'm off to go find some more data packs.